We will always fight for the dignity and the value of your creative work. We will always fight for you. If you're not both thrilled and terrified by what you're about to hear and what we're talking about today, you don't understand it well enough. They can't just scrape and use and not monetize and get away with it. They can't. We've got to push this metadata issue and that is going to be really hard because it's already been scraped. It has its brilliance. It has its strength. But the way that it needs to be positioned is in the background, supporting the artist, supporting the star. It learns patterns, syntax, genre, exactly. all those things. But there are many tools out there that are reproducing parts of your copyrighted work. Um, and that, that is an issue. It's about the opportunities and the threats because we believe that AI is both of those things. There's these existing kind of copyright concepts. Uh, short words and phrases aren't protected. Ideas aren't protected. Um, but the expression of those ideas may be if they are done by a human author. It's kind of like the internet days of Internet 2.0, right? Democratizing the tools of um, recording and, and distribution. Take it down. Give it to me in a different key. Take it, you know, take it over here and give it to me with the words now changed so it's a little bit more this way versus that way. And I can show you my progression of human involvement. Is that not copyrightable? That's gotta be copyrightable. AI can spit out like 100 million songs, <laughs> but are they good songs? Does anybody care about that song? Like where is the human experience in the picture? Human beings need music and they need to make art to live.